Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Friday, August 23rd, 2024. We're having an earthquake swarm there along the Walker Lane Seismic Zone um, east of Walker Lake. This is near Hawthorne, Nevada, which is down over here. The largest earthquake they've had in this sequence has been a magnitude 4.3. It was fairly shallow, uh, 3.4 miles in depth. Will this be the largest earthquake in this sequence of earthquakes? Or is it an indication that something much larger is coming? The Walker Lane Seismic Zone absorbs, uh, releases the energy of about 25% of the energy that's stored from the North American plate slowly moving towards the west whereas the San Andreas Fault Zone um, that releases about 75 percent so this is quite significant that they're having all these earthquakes lately one day the Walker Lane Seismic Zone will be the dominant uh, fault zone after the San Andreas Fault Zone is no longer in California <laughs> is no longer. Geologists say that California won't fall into the ocean, but it could get nudged hundreds of miles offshore, making Nevada the new coastline of the continent. Scientists at the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology at the University of Nevada, Reno, um, hypothesized. They have combined decades of data and the latest technology to study the Walker Lane and approximately its 1,000 kilometer long or 625 mile uh, fault zone. The Pacific Ocean will someday flood the north from the Gulf of California all the way past Reno, Nevada. Geologists believe that that event will probably take about 15,000 years to evolve. But, yeah, you just don't know. God can do anything he wants, right? Not very many people reported feeling the magnitude 4.3. A lot more, more likely, just never took the time to send in a report to USGS. Or maybe even knew where to send in a report. Um, here's the felt reports from that 4.3. Um, let's see, the farthest north, it looks like it was El Porto, El Porto, excuse me. Um, we also got here, um, Tenapa. What else do we got here? Arnold, Sonora. Let's see, trying to see what some of the largest areas are farthest areas are. Yeah, Sonora probably going towards uh, Arnold and I believe this is Sonora going towards the San Francisco Bay Area. Here we got the last seven days of earthquakes for California. Yeah, there's been a lot of them. We got Los Angeles, Bakerfield, Riverside, um, down by the Salton Sea, all the way down to San Diego, going up San Bernardino. Looks like we got a new one right there. Um, Pear Blossom. Let's see, we got, yeah, look at all those earthquakes. Yeah, just kind of look around here. Let me bring this out. Yeah, the Bay Area. Oh, of course, up there in Northern California. Yeah. Yeah, you might have beachfront property if you live long enough. Or depending on what God Almighty decides to do. Uh, maybe he's just going to drop everything into the ocean because of all the politics and the corruption. And yeah, the different wokeness that goes on. I don't know. Yeah. This area is capable of having very large earthquakes. Back in uh, 1932, there was a magnitude 7.3. It 
Can you imagine the damage that would cause if, you know, with today's population and infrastructure? Yeah, what else do we got? Um, this one here is a 5.2, 5.7, 5 5.6. Uh, let's go down here. Yeah, it extends all the way down to Southern California. Let's see, a 6.2. Let's see, Owens Valley. I believe that was the largest earthquake that they've had along the Walker Lane. Um, 1872, a magnitude 7.9. Um, how would your home or your apartment or your business withstand a magnitude 7.9? Yeah, I got marked on here the start of the Los Angeles Aqueduct, where they get their water. That's uh, north of where the uh, 7.9 was at. Right there, actually followed it along and actually marked it out for you guys. But this is the Walker Lane seismic zone. Yeah. Can you imagine everything from the Gulf of California? Let me go down here. Right down here. Do do do. Right there. West of the Gulf of California, all the way up to Reno, no longer existing. Yeah, you're probably saying you probably won't live to see it all. Um, but we got some great changes that are going to be coming. Stranger things have happened, right? So, did you feel any of these earthquakes? If so, please put your comments down below. Yeah, um, did you have any damage from a 4.6? You definitely would have had some damage. Yeah, let me bring it back out. Probably the talk of the town there at the uh, local restaurant, right? Yeah. So what do you think? Do you think there's a bigger one coming? Or is that 4.3 the largest that's going to happen? Um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.